Hey everyone, it's me, and God, I haven't been alone for a long time. That's part of why I guess sometimes I don't make uh, videos, is because um, I feel kind of like a dork talking to a camera on uh, by myself, and someone walks up, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm weird. So, um, anyway... I'm feeling back to my old self a little more. I went to California and um for a long ass vacation and it was actually much needed. Um if you watch my ghetto ass channel, um things got kind of weird this year. Um I had to move um sooner than I expected. And then I had uh, two relatives that passed away. Unexpected. Well, one was kind of expectedly my mom from cancer, but it, it still is never really expected when they uh, get real bad. So it was it was heartbreaking. And right before that, my grandma died, and I also lived with my grandma, so I was very close to her. And uh, so things got really weird. And uh, I, I my my stepdaughter was trying to make a channel for dancing and stuff and uh so I was showing her how to use my little video shop app on my phone and I um showed her examples of my old videos and I looked and uh I I noticed that my videos haven't been the same for a long time they've really been kind of uh lame and uh they they used to be funny and stuff and they got kind of stupid. So um anyway, I, I I just I guess things got so weird that I wasn't up to my old self and everything. So I, I'm gonna try to <coughs> get back to my old self and try to make better videos. For a while I guess I just didn't care or something. So uh anyway yeah, looking at my my newest videos for the last like six months or so, they haven't been that good. And uh, so someone asked to see the Beppers up close, and these damn things are cool, man. I I didn't like the the wooden furniture on the uh, the Vepper Fifty Four as much as these. These are just really textured, really good. And, uh, there's not any issues with the rivets or anything. I, I do have an OPAP that had kind of some funky rivets. But the texture on this just feels really nice. This is the 545. The other one's about the same, but darker. But, um, I actually might leave one in stock configuration. And maybe do the bullet guide. Depending on if the 922 R crap is uh really applies to these like they say they do so uh and, and yeah they have the uh little Vepper Molot symbol too so they're really nice rifles and uh I I I just really think I did a good job getting these for the price with the uh long ass barrels especially I saw a an RPK 74 with the 20 inch barrel that really looked, you couldn't even tell. It was an inch and a half short and it looked great even though it was a square back. And uh, I was wanting something for my kids to shoot. I'm not trying to make this my new battle or assault rifle cartridge or whatever the fuck it's called now. But um, since I'm so invested in the 762, but I wanted to get this for my kids and wife. We'll see where it goes, but um, they shoot my little 22 bolt action a lot. I find the kids do. And uh, I was thinking if I put this on a bipod, which I have a box of um, the Harris bipods, that um, this they would feel better because the recoil is very similar to the uh, 22 long rifle. It's in between 20, 22 Magnum and... Uh, the recoil from 545 is very close to um, 22 Magnum. So if they can shoot something with more power and not be intimidated by recoil, that would be cool. And, and I'm not that serious about the 545 either. 
getting uh, the little orange Tapco mags. So, I mean, I just wanted it mainly for people to shoot that are recoil sensitive. But I, I was wanting to get an Arsenal SLR 104 with the triangle folding stock. The one that looks like the uh, badass rifles that they use in um, Ukraine. But uh, they, I couldn't find one, and I think this is a better deal because I wanted some RPKs anyway. So uh, they didn't have the 23-inch barrel, which is probably really not that much more velocity than this. And uh, so it's in between the real RPK and the, uh, a 16-inch carbine. So I thought it was a good um, medium. So... Uh, yeah, I kept trying to get some uh, AK builders, like reputable AK builders, to build me like a a Naraki Tabuk DMR, since I have a lot of M70s or a um, or an RPK, and they wouldn't reply back. So I kind of I'm glad they didn't reply back, and fuck them. So uh, I got a better deal anyway with the. That's the only, the Vepers are the only barrels rated for 50,000 rounds that I've ever heard of. So, um, they're, Vepers are very high quality. Like, literally, they're very nice quality. They're like the, uh, Daniel Defense Noveski, um, of AKs. They are the Kellex of AKs. I got a flash hider, finally, for my AKs. Um, well, I got one for now. I'm gonna get some more. And, uh, I put it... On the M70 AB2 because the AMD brake was a little bit long on here for an underfolder. So um, I'm trying to keep this, you know, true to the underfolder. I found myself adding a lot of stuff. I love the AMD brake. I'm definitely going to put it on um, probably my one of the Vepers. But um, I just, I want an underfolder as short as possible without a bunch of shit. I don't even care to have a light on this damn thing. But, um, I got an interesting magazine. I got an Israeli Made Industries or whatever. 10 round magazine. It said it was a steel magazine, but it's polymer. But it's really high quality. I mean, this is really fucking nice for a polymer AK mag. So, uh, I think it looks pretty damn good. It's, it's not loaded yet. I was just trying to fit. But, um, hell yeah. Still love my underfolder. We're the underfunkers union. <laughs> Me and my friends. And, uh, anyway, I've rambled on. I kind of am disappointed with the whole prepper America patriot bullshit lately. But that's for another video. I don't even care to fucking uh, try to restart humanity out of my house anymore. Right now I'm just focusing on guns and ammo. I don't even give a shit anymore. I, I don't even call myself a prepper. I'm just trying to get shit before they uh, ban it. So uh, I'm excited about the G3. Um... I definitely believe in regular preparedness, you know, um, at least have a week or two of water. I do have a bunch of, um, jugs with water and shit around the place, but, um, I, I just think, I'll just make another video on my opinions, so, um, anyway, that's that, just hanging out and trying to stay happy. Thanks for watching and take care.